Hey folks, so today I am going to show you something really, really cool. So you know Apple has introduced native support for containers on macOS, a really big news. Uh, yep, no Docker or any third party stuff, just Apple's own way of running containers natively. So, and it works really well. Uh, you know, but there's a catch, you need the latest macOS version, uh, the Sequatia, Mac, uh, you know, macOS 15 to try this out, right? Mm, uh, but the, th the thing is now, uh, I was still using macOS Ventura, macOS 13 uh, in, in my local machine when I uh, first found out uh, about this news. Uh, so yeah, I had to upgrade my macOS to macOS 15 uh, Sequatia, as, as you can see on my screen here i downloaded this installer from the app store right but but you know it's 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 a huge file uh, over 15 gb and so so it took uh, some time to download actually uh, after the download you know when i was going to install this uh, application uh, guess what my internet connection dropped so i got an error and the progress was gone so if any of you encountered this kind of a scenario guys don't panic if that happens to you as you see now on my screen just go to your applications folder open up your terminal and go to your app slash applications folder so you will see the install is still sitting there right so just double click it and and continue the installation from there so no need to re-download that big file again so yeah just a quick tip for uh, for my fellow panickers out there um yeah once the upgrade is done uh, now now you know we are ready to try out apple's container system so as you see see on my screen now i have opened uh, Apple's official GitHub repository for this. Uh, so all the steps and instructions are there, uh, super helpful. So, uh, you know, let's go through them together and, and try out these new new containers on my Mac, right? Um, uh, let's begin by starting the container system, right? So using this command, uh, you know, container system start, right? Um, as you see, see on the screen, uh, since I haven't installed a kernel yet, it's asking me to install one, right? So just press Y, yes, and hit enter. So now it will install the Linux kernel and base container system, which is uh, which is kind of a requirement or mandatory step uh, to set up these uh, Apple containers. So once that's done, we can check if things are working by running this command. Uh, as you see on my screen, container list uh, hyphen hyphen all dash dash all right. So as you see now, it shows an empty list. That's totally fine, guys. We haven't created any containers yet. That's why it's it's going to be an empty list. Anyway, uh, command is working fine. So let's check what commands are available in this tool actually. Uh, the first uh, uh, command that uh, we, any of you, you might go into uh, execute is the uh, container uh, hyphen hyphen help, right? So, and uh, you see there, it gives us list of all the commands we can use, like, you know, run, start, stop, logs, images, and, and many more, right? So also you don't have to type full commands every time. So you can shorten them like uh, instead of, uh, you know, a container list uh, dash dash all, uh, you can just do something like container ls uh, dash a hyphen name. So pretty cool, right? Okay, let's now build a simple Python web server container uh, within our Mac OS, right? So uh, as you see here, I have created a new directory called web uh, dash test. Right, uh, so um, uh, you can execute the command mkdir web dash test. So then we, you can go inside that folder using the command cd web uh, hyphen test. So inside it, I am creating a Docker file uh, with this content. Actually, this content can be found uh, in 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 their official uh, GitHub repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the exact Docker file content and uh, use that uh, in in my in my tutorial as well. So this is going to be uh, something like echoing hello world, right? Mm. So uh, what this does is like this sets up a small web server. Let me uh, give a brief. Uh, so sets up a small web server, uh, you know, using uh, Python and uh, it, it serves a hello world uh, page, very simple. So now what we are going to do is we are going to build this image using the uh, command. So now uh, this is really cool guys, right? So if you are, uh, because we are inside Mac OS, right? So uh, you can execute the command container build uh, dash dash tag web test and then dash dash file as you can see on my screen right so and and give the docker file name and uh, the root uh, root path so as you can see here it starts building the image so once it finishes we can check with this command container images list and here you go you will see both the base image and the web test image we just built okay now since we have built our image it's time to run it Right, so we will use this command uh, as you can see on my screen. I am doing it uh, while explaining container run uh, dash dash name. You need to give the uh, name my web server and again dash dash detach uh, dash dash rm web test. 
So this will run the content in the background and, and remove it after it stops. That's what this command does, right? Now, if we list the containers, we can run the command container ls. So as you see, as you see on the screen, our container, my web server is running. It also shows the containers IP address as well. So in this case, mine is uh, uh, 192.168.64.3. So something like that. This might be changed uh, in my tutorial. So because I'm uh, uh, sharing a screen recording here. So uh, now what we are going to do is let's open it in our browser. Mm, uh, so what you can do is like you can execute this command open uh, then the IP address here. Uh, and there's our web page you can see in my screen now. So here's our web page. So if you did that local DNS setup earlier, the optional uh, step that I have mentioned. So you can also just do like, you know, open then the, uh, the, the, the custom uh, domain name that you have uh, provided. So much cleaner. Okay, now since we are done with running our first container, let's uh, try running a command inside the container, which is really important. So we can test that out as well. So we will list the files in the uh, slash content folder here. So what I'm going to do is going, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to execute this command container exec. So what you see here is this is pretty like uh, similar to the uh, commands that we execute in our Docker environments, right? Docker exe, Docker ls. So pretty similar to those commands. So uh, but the, the the thing, the, the exciting thing here is like this is Mac OS. We are running it inside our Mac OS, right? Apple's native code. So we are going to execute this command container exec my web server, and we are going to list down the uh, content in this folder slash content. Uh, and as you see, there is our index.html file listed already. So yep, nice and simple. Okay, I think you have got some kind of an idea while going through this tutorial and. This is really easy and because you know uh, Apple has already provided all the steps in their GitHub repository readme file. So that's what I have followed. But the thing is you need to experience this by yourself. That's what really uh, like that's what matters. Right. So and that's it for today. So Apple's you know native containers are actually pretty smooth uh, once you get Mac OS 15 up and running. Uh, so, but it's still early days, guys. But this is kind of a great step, I would say. So, especially for developers using uh, Mac for local testing, I'm going to say like this is going to be a great step, very exciting step. Uh, and 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 uh, that's about it today's tutorial. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and and stay tuned for more DevOps and and cloud related content. And thanks for watching.